Hello, you guys. Um, I'm going to say good rising. Good afternoon. Hey, all that good stuff. That's what I'm going to say right now. I hope you guys can hear me. Please let me know, you know, whether or not you can or you cannot. I am kind of trying to talk a little low because Daria is sleeping and I don't want to wake her up, but she may wake up anyways. Just let me know if y'all can hear me in the comments or by sending likes, loves, funny faces. It doesn't matter. But um, today I'm actually going to wait until some of you guys come on. I've already pulled the cards. So you can see some of them right here. Mm. Uh, I'm smiling like this because with me pulling the cards and even just preparing for this reading, um, I saw some things pre-shuffling that I felt like we're predicating beautiful things, beautiful energy, good energy, energy of things like abundance, energy of things like unions and just insight coming in, things being made clear, plans being made, possibly uh, spiritual contracts and commitments being fulfilled. Okay. This is what I saw during pre-shuffle. And now with the actual cards being present on the table, hi Marquita, with the cards actually being present on the table, um, a recurring pattern that I'm seeing right now, okay, is that with the two main decks that I pulled from, two cards came out for both of these decks, okay? That's coupling. That's where I get the idea of coupling from, okay? Um, and then the bottom of the deck, we've got the Libra card and Libra is the card of balance. Yes. And it's the card where there is one scale on one side and once, well, yeah, it's a two scales basically. So that's another two. Libra also deals with the concepts of relationships, be it business relationships, family relationships, um, or romantic ones. So this is the reason why I put in the description box about coupling. Hi, you guys. We got two or three gathered here. That's more than enough for me. So I'm going to go ahead and hop into this reading. Hi, Latrina. Hi to everybody who decided to come on, you guys. I'm so grateful for you guys to be here with me. Um, let's go ahead and hop into this energy, okay? So the first card uh, in regards to the energy that these messages are going to be surrounding and connected to today, we have the Libra I balance. Libra I balance. <laughs> I'm laughing and smiling like this, guys, because right under the Libra I balance, we have the Venus card of love okay so the craziest thing is i was just thinking about both of these cards today both of these signs or planets today in my brain my spirit was like i was getting my nails done and my spirit was telling me that with the rising sign that i have of libra i am attracted to beautiful things um I'm attracted to beautiful people. I'm attracted to beautiful sounds, music, poetry, um, friendships and things like that. Um, relating with other people. That's beautiful to me. And then with my Venus sign, my Venus sign is that of Virgo. And so um, with Virgoans, they are earthy people. They are um, very much so grounded and into nature and natural things. So Virgo people like to, Virgo people are naturally, they naturally tend to be beautiful and, or their beauty is that, that you find in something that's natural. Okay. On top of that, they tend to be kind of plain Jane or just kind of understated. They have a very understated beauty, but it is that it's all their own. Okay. 
So with my Venus sign being in Virgo and Venus also deals with the energy of beauty and what we value, okay, and what we are attracted to and the sign of Libra is ruled by the planet of Venus. With my Venus being in Virgo, that means I am attracted to practicality. I'm attracted to things that are naturally beautiful. Um, this is why I love colors like nude and greens and browns, pretty earth tone colors, okay? Don't get me wrong. The Leo in me loves all the beautiful bright ass colors, but I tend to be drawn like a magnet to earth tone colors. I'm saying all this for a reason. I know that it may not make sense, but I'm just saying that I was literally thinking about both of these signs today, earlier, way before I knew I was going to do a reading, okay? Hi to everybody who's just now coming on. How's the baby? Um, the baby is fine. She's asleep right now. She does have a little cold that she's trying to get over, but she's still doing very good. So I'm grateful to the most high and spirit for that. Okay, so let's hop into this, you guys. With this Libra I Balance card, I'm going to tell you now. I feel, I, I felt, I felt this energy of connections coming together. But not just coming together. I feel the energy of couples finally kind of gaining their ebb and flow and therefore creating harmony in their connection are you following what i'm saying hopefully it's making sense if this is not necessarily about romance for you or a romantic partnership this could even be about your own private and personal relationship with yourself but whatever is happening there's balance that's being created within you when I think about balance being created within us, I think of us recognizing energies about ourselves. Hi, Tahira. I think about us knowing who we are, being authentic. I, I think about us accepting ourselves, all aspects, whatever that could be, okay? And, and moving in the knowledge of who we are. And that creates harmony, not trying to shun any parts of yourself, not trying to hide any parts of yourself. When this comes to business, if you are waiting to receive word about something, a, a, a contract, you, you, you may find that you're going to be pleased with the word that you receive back. OK, um, if you are already in a contract with a company and or organization, this could be something where you guys experience give and take. And therefore, there's harmony, peace, and or balance in the connection. It's fulfilling as well. These are the vibes that I'm getting, whether it's romance, family, family likewise. Okay? Maybe there have been some disagreements in the family. These things are going to all be brought into subjection. Whatever needs to take place, whatever conversations need to happen, um, whatever needs to be released, both in the in the frame of letting something go and taking something on. Whatever needs to be released will be released with this Libra I Balance card. I'm seeing the number 19, which breaks down to the number 10, which could break down to one. Oneness. If there was an energy of two individuals kind of working against each other or it wasn't that you were working against each other, but the mere fact that you were both in two different separate minds could have caused rifts. Okay. But that's coming to an end with the number 10. That's at its completion and going to the number one. Now we're going to be on one accord. Moving on. The, the messages from the overall deck from the universal Oracle love deck or the Universal Love Oracle deck, sorry. We have the card of Healing Sounds. And right underneath that, we have Embrace. And I don't know, but to you, got to me, that looks like a man and a woman here.
again, you guys, embrace has to first take place first within ourselves, but it can also very well mean um, embracing someone outside of ourselves, okay? A soulmate here, a partner, um, a friend, a companion, a coworker, whatever it may feel, whatever it may be for you. With the Healing Sounds card, the Healing Sounds card is, um, what they suggest in this book is basically listening to the spirit and the voice that's within you. Not only listening to that, but they talk about crystals and how crystals can assist us with our own healing and how crystals can call out to you. And they can call to you um, and, and, and the crystal that calls to you more than likely is going to be carrying along with it the energies that we need at that time. So if you are being more drawn to crystals, if you are researching more about crystals or if you've seen a crystal and you keep seeing it or whatever the case may be, this can literally be just spiritual messages as well that you keep hearing over and over again. Whether it be a song that you keep hearing over and over again, a phrase, <laughs> whether it keeps coming up in your spirit or you're hearing it from the external world, but it's meant to make you look within. Whatever the case is, there is a message that spirit is wanting to get to us. And they will be successful. If you're being called to crystals or a particular crystal, this card is suggesting that you go to that crystal, that you research that crystal and see what messages come along with that. Moving on. Now to hop into the nitty gritty. Now to hop into the nitty gritty of this reason. Okay. Out of the Black Moon Astrology deck cards, two cards fell out at the same time. Okay. And this happened in the second deck as well. Two cards fell out. First card that came out, guys, is the fifth house creativity. Now I just want to add... That the fifth house, okay, in astrology, it is ruled by the zodiac sign of Leo. So you could have Leo in your chart. You may have Libra in your chart. I'm also seeing energies that, um, that, that influence the sign of Sagittarius. With the Venus card that I saw underneath the Libra, you could have... Um, what did I say? You could have Libra or Taurus also in your chart. These are just the signs I'm going to say right now that I'm being led to say. However, this does not ixnay any of the other signs, okay? The fifth house deals not only with creativity, but romance. So for some of you guys, this could definitely be talking about your love life here, okay? Hmm. Huh. If I am not mistaken, the fifth house also deals with the energy of children. So somehow your children can be uh, a part of these messages for you. But first and foremost, the thing that I'm getting is that I feel like uh, some of us could be getting ready to tap into our creativity with our partner. Yes, that resonates personally. For me <laughs> okay um i feel like in tapping into the creativity with your partner abundance is going to come that way so when i said coupling i know i don't know if you guys have paid attention but i often talk about the 144,000 kingdom marriages or what other people know as the twin flame relationships okay so i really feel as though this is yet another message for those people okay what I sense getting ready to happen. One, there's about to be union. And when I say about to be union, this does not mean that you're not with your person. For some people. For others, it could very well mean that you're not with your person and you're about to get with your person. And upon getting with your person, you guys are going to get busy, get to work, creating. Yes, that could be creating a child or that could be creating something else. Creating your empire, you know, um, uh, tapping into your life purpose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
I don't want to get ahead of myself, but this is what we could be getting ready to partner up for, okay? With the sign of Leo, we also need to keep in mind that when Leo shows up, they stop in shows, okay? They're, 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 they're grabbing attention, even if they don't want to. So that could be another factor that, that, that could be another factor um, surrounding the energy and the messages that spirit is giving us here. Whatever it is that some of you guys are partnering up to do, wherever your creativity um, is being utilized, you're going to be front and center. You're going to be center stage. You're going to be talked about. You're going to be the topic of discussion. Some of you guys might be getting ready to blow up somehow with whatever it is that you're doing. Okay? For some, that could be with social media. For others, this could be with your spiritual practices, with your businesses. Whatever the case is, you're about to be known. Known. And in your being known for whatever you're about to be made known for, this is going to bring expansion. It's making me think about the, the scripture about Jabez. Some of you guys may have already literally been praying to the most high, Lord, please enlarge my territory. Guess what? Your prayers are being answered. Whatever that could be about. I know for a fact, I was led to say that and just to thank spirit for my expansion, to thank spirit for my territory being enlarged. And I want to say that was almost a month ago now. Hmm. Your creativity is about to take you places. Because the sign of Sagittarius deals with the sign of travel. Jupiter also deals with an energy of travel. It deals with spirituality. It deals with faith. It deals with things like philosophy. Religion. Right? So... You can bet your bottom dollar that wherever this expansion and this creativity is going to be put into action, it's going to touch some of those um, categories. That's the word I'm trying to look for. It's going to touch some of those categories. And please keep in mind that abundance is not just money, although it's a part of it. Mm -hmm. Abundance is also uh, appointed times. Divine timing. Abundance is also connections. Being presented to a person who can get you where you're trying to go. Maybe you didn't know who this person was going to be. Maybe you had no idea how, I don't know why I'm here but like this, but I have to say it like this. You didn't know how your label was going to be put in front of who you needed to see it, but... Divine, but divine abundance is your shit being placed in front of the people who make the decisions in regards to what goes where and who gets what. I'm just saying. That's also uh, an energy of abundance. Being connected where you need to be connected with who you need to be connected with at the time that you need to be connected to get you what you want or to get you where you're trying to go. Let's not even prolong the time because let's just go ahead and see what this is really about, though, because I'm, I'm giving out all these different possibilities, but it could be about something specific. So let's see. Spirit. We have. And this is beautiful energy. We've got the eight of swords in the reverse. So for me, that's dealing with some of you guys could have been creatively blocked. If you were not creatively blo blocked, you could feel like all of the efforts that you have been making to create something out of nothing. You could have felt like they've been, you know, getting knocked down and stuff like that. Well, that energy to me is being removed. You're coming out of the energy of being blocked. Some of you guys may have writer's block. Some of you guys may feel like your creativity has dwindled down to damn near nothing and you don't know what you want to do and you can't design for shit. You can't think of an a, a idea for shit. But that energy is leaving. Spirit, is there anything more about this creativity card here? Uh -huh. 
Some of you guys literally need to meet your partner. You're, and I'm talking about your romantic partner in order for this creativity to come on back in. Some people have been blocked from their creativity. Somebody, because you did someone wrong or because um, you disconnected from that which brought you the energy of creativity, now that shit has been gone for a while and you want to get it back. Some of you guys want to get it back. And you realize that the only way to get this energy back is for you to get back with this particular person. That may not be for everybody, but that's for someone. That's for someone. We got the Eight of Swords, then we have the Nine of Swords. So the Eight of Swords um, in reverse was us coming out of an energy of feeling stuck, out of an energy of feeling blocked. Somebody is freeing themselves, okay? The Nine of Swords says that, yeah, we're moving on up a little bit, but there may be some anxiety surrounding this freedom. There may be some anxiety surrounding what are the next steps that this person needs to take. But I still feel like they're going to be moving forward. Okay, someone could be considering happy thoughts and happy feelings surrounding an ex or surrounding a soul mate. You guys also could be seeing a lot of butterflies. I know that's facts for me. I've been seeing butterflies everywhere. One even briefly landed on me. I was so happy. Spirit, is there anything more about this? There could be an ex, guys, that this is in regards to for some of you guys. For others of you, this could have something to do with something that happened to you that was very traumatic in your childhood. It halted and it stunted the way that you showed up in the world. You could have been a bright shining star, but you could have experienced some form of abuse that stunted you mentally. Guess what? Spirit says it's time to free yourself from that. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Woo, my God, I want to cry right now for that one. I want to cry for that one. Some of you guys are going to literally, literally heal your inner child. And in healing your inner child, you're going to have something to be happy about. You're going to have something to rejoice about. I feel like there is a burden, a heavy weight that is going to be lifted for who this person I'm talking about or this group of people I don't know. Mm, mm, mm. There's going to be a peace. I feel like you're about to burst forth. You are about to shine. You are no longer going to allow that which hurt you, that which took your power to take it. Spirit, is there anything more here with this, please, before I move on to the Jupiter Abundance card? We have the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Cups energy. Well, to me, it's safe to say that someone is going to be taking very quick, passionate action towards a woman or man that they love. Somebody going to get their woman. Somebody going to get their man. For others of you. You're going to get these ideas. They're going to come to you through an ancestor, maybe somebody that's connected to a grandmother or a mom figure. OK, but you're going to start getting these spiritual revel rev revelations. <laughs> you're going to start getting spiritual revelations and they're going to cause you to start taking action like this because you're just going to it's like you're going to somehow know what to do. I'm seeing that from the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Cups. First and foremost, though, you guys, this is a romantic situation. March my words. March my words. I feel like in this romantic situation, there could have been somebody who was holding back at one point in time. But now when they come towards this person who they love, who is also very spiritual, very creative, very nurturing and loving, they're going to be ready to put in work with this person. I, 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 I'm literally hearing, okay, teach me everything you know. 
teach me what you know. That energy of music soul child saying, teach me how to love. Show me the way to surrender my heart. Teach me. Moving on, Jupiter abundance energy. Why is this number seven here? Jupiter abundance. I'm seeing the four of swords come out and I'm also seeing, here we go, hold on. Two more cards are here. <laughs> wow. Yeah, okay, so somebody's been in the energy of deliberation. Someone's been resting. Someone's been in silence, solitude maybe even, trying to think about, you know, what they should do. Somebody may feel like they need to go on a vacation. So someone could have literally left for a vacation or someone's getting ready to take a vacation. And you could be trying to get this vacation to clear your mind. You could feel emotionally like there's like you don't have anything left to give to a connection, maybe. For some of you guys, the Queen of Swords deals with the energy of divorce and or bare minimum separation. And abundance gives me an energy of, you know, blessings. So for some of you guys, you literally walking away from a connection could literally be a blessing for you. And this connection with the eight of cups, it's not emotionally fulfilling. Maybe at one time it was, but it's not anymore. So it's no longer serving you. And this is why you have to get away. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. My eye looks so crazy when I said that. When you get out, when you walk away, you're going to walk into your happiness. You're going to walk into clarity. You're going to walk into some financial and material gain. You're going to walk into someone who is ready to give to the connection. If this is involving a man and a woman, whoever you walk into, this person could be a little materialistic and have money or whatever, but they're going to be a responsible person. Dependable, reliable. That's heavy Taurus energy, heavy Leo energy. Taurus and Leo showing up again. With the Queen of Swords, that could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra energy. And them cups, that could be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Somebody is walking away from a connection. I feel like they finally got the, the reason that they needed to leave. They're going to be able to clearly articulate why it's no longer working out between them and the person maybe that they've been with. And they're marching towards their happiness. And whoever this is, this could be a male energy or at least a masculine energy. Whoever it is, they're going to be. When they come to someone, they're going to be who they need to be. I feel like somebody is finally about to step up into a husband role, step up into a father role, step up into a boss. And of course, that brings clarity and it brings happiness and success, because that's another thing that the star card, I mean, the sun card, which is a star. <laughs> that's another thing that the sun card can represent. So moving on, more messages to go along with this energy. First card out of the other deck which actually I told y'all these two came out together but the first one I saw was the card of love I feel like I don't need to uh explain that because I've been telling y'all from the beginning I've been feeling a heavy relationship energy but I also because it is general I have to say all the possible meanings and we know that love can abound between family friends and even work you know associates so it doesn't just have to be romance although I feel Heavy, you understand? Heavy that this is a relationship reading. The second card came out celebration. I feel like there is going to be an energy of commitment here. I would not be surprised if somebody get proposed to. I'm not gonna be surprised if somebody's like, Hey, I want to get married. Let's get married. I'm also hearing my song by Joe. It's called, it's called One Life Stand. And the, the part of the song that started to play was, Girl, I adore you. 
my body's hot for you. In the bedroom, I'll explore you. It'll be a one life stand. Whatever that's about. Maybe that's for me. Maybe that's for somebody else. Spirit, go ahead and clarify this here. What, 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 what's this about? What's the love card here for? Let's get that straight. No chaser. <laughs> Look at this. We got the judgment card. It showed up in the reverse in my hand, but then when it fell out of my hand, it came out in the reverse. So I feel like there has been a decision made. Okay. Somebody has made a decision. Where they may have once been guarded. Okay. The seven of wands could also be an energy of, you know, being on the defensive, having to defend oneself or having to defend what somebody believes in. Somebody is fighting for love. Somebody is standing up for love. I'm hearing the Michael Bolton song, Stand Up for love. If you've never heard that song before, please go and check it out. It's a beautiful song. Spirit, please give me some more about this love card here. Please give me some more. Give it to me quick. No chaser is, is, is another card. Yes, there is a card that is already over. Let's see what this one is about. It's the king of swords. <laughs> more Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. I feel like what I'm getting is that somebody is going to come and they're going to, they are clear thinking. And because they're clear thinking, they're going to clearly say who and what they want. Mm, mm. Somebody's throat chakra is going to be opened. I'm seeing the seven of cups, the hanging man and the knight of pentacles and the five of swords. I feel that there could be some arguing going on. If it's not arguing, I feel like somebody is literally, you know, here trying to think of a master plan. Somebody has, I feel like somebody was in stillness. They were in solitude. They were by themselves long enough for their perspective to have shifted. I feel as though this person could have had a whole lot of other options or they could have thought that they had some other options. But now those options are dwindling down to one. Somebody had to make a choice. Hi. Christabella, how are you? Oh, Lord. With the seven of cups, there were some options or somebody was in an illusion. But now they have slowly but surely come out of that illusion in this Virgo season because the Knight of Pentacles deals with the sign of Virgo. Baby, now I feel like this person is trying to think. They're trying to plan a way to come in and express their love. And when I say come in, please understand that the people could literally already be together. It just depends on whatever your situation is. You could currently be with your person, but it could have still been like you guys were separated, like you guys weren't close, even though you were together. And now when this person comes in and they're ready to put in effort into the connection, now there's going to be this closeness. Spirit, is there anything more for this love card? Somebody I also feel with this five of wands, I feel as though there was a person, there was an outside party that tried to come into this love thing and fuck it up. And technically, it almost seemed like the person won and they were willing to do it at all costs. They were fighting with everything they had within them. They were fighting dirty. They were talking. They were using their mouthpiece. They were trying to get into the person's mind. And to be honest, they were successful. But guess what wins? Through the conniving, through the manipulation, <laughs> through the lies and deceit, through the scheming and the plotting, guess what wins? Love wins. As I say that, I'm looking at the damn bottom of the deck and it's the emperor card. It's the emperor. That's somebody husband, that's somebody father, that's somebody daddy, that's somebody's boss. However it resonates for you. But baby, somebody is coming in their emperor energy. That means they ready, ready. <laughs> I said something about building an empire, didn't I? Ah, didn't I? 
I'm going to leave that alone. Let's move on to the celebration card. Spirit, why is the celebration card here? I couldn't even finish the whole thing before two cards fell out. It's looking like it's looking like it's the tower and the justice card. But let's just see. Bitch, it's the tower and the justice card. Yeah, let me tell you why I'm excited about that. Because if, for those who are just now tuning in, when I was talking about the Libra eye balance, which is the overall energy of this entire reading, I talked about the justice card. I mean, I was talking about the sign of Libra because Libra is who holds the scales, which is also what the sign of the justice. It's the sign that the justice card tends to represent the sign of Libra. I'm telling y'all, this is what I am hearing. This is what I am feeling. The true connections, the true relationship that should have been together from the beginning. Hear me. The relationship that should have remained together if it was broken up. That's the connection that's coming back around again. Period. If you guys had not been together previously, but then you found each other, then there's nothing that's about to break that shit up. It's just about to get stronger, more solid. You guys are about to be working in harmony. This is facts. I can't make this shit up. With the tower card, the tower card indicates that something that something that provided some type of stability or structure is being broken down. Uh-huh. And I feel like this is with a man. There's no other person in this here but a man. So somebody's man is experiencing this tower moment or they will experience it, baby boy and baby girl. And guess what? It's redirecting them. The tower card is never just about destruction. It's always about reconstruction and getting us on the path that is most in alignment with our highest purpose for the highest good. Period. And this justice card, this is about truth being revealed here. This is about Oh, this is about deception being revealed. This is about peace and this is about clarity. This is about the chosen ones finally being recognized and put back in their rightful places. That. Spirit, is there anything more before I move on? Celebration. That's somebody's marriage coming together. That's somebody's soul contract coming together. Look, even this little, this little simple here reminds me of the sun card. Look at that. That's why I say clarity. Spirit, what's going on here with the celebration energy? The fuck? I cannot make this up. I just can't. I'm, I'm the bomb, but I'm not this bomb. Ten of Cups. This is the most highest, most fulfilling relationship. This is that shit that all of us, when we have a happy ending, a happily ever after in our spirit, when we have an ideal in our hearts about what is possible, this is what the Ten of Cups represents. And this is what the fuck is getting ready to happen for some of us. And that's why you can be happy. That's why it's a celebration afoot. Listen. And then right under that is the 10 of motherfucking pinnacles. Somebody about to take a risk. Somebody about to bet on they love. They about to bet on love and they are going to blow up. Somebody about to blow up. <laughs> Get ready because the message is coming. It could throw, it could come in through somebody's child. But if it's not going to be a child who could have Aries, Leo, or Sag in a chart, it's just going to be a message that comes in. And I feel like this message, it could come out of out of the blue, could come across like it's all of a sudden. But whoever this is gonna come from, this is gonna be very passionate. This person is going to come and they're gonna be wanting to offer, in my opinion, a new start somebody is gonna say can we start over again that joe song somebody go listen to the joe song start over i think that's the name of it or over again or something like that 
if y'all can't find it throughout this day, when I go look for it, I'll just put it on my page in, in the status and I want y'all to check it out. That has been the goddamn general energetics messages. I hope and pray that it resonates for someone. You guys, when this shit pop off for y'all or it happened or if it's for me, trust and believe I'm coming back to tell y'all and I hope that y'all would do the same. Okay. Bye, you guys. Peace, love, light, and darkness, which works together to bring harmony first within ourselves and then within our world. I'm out. Bye.